All right, hello again, Mr. Wu. God, everyone just loves all the vintage cameras. And there's a couple of uh, models that have been talked about. And even I don't know much about it. It's the Fujika line. And it uh, looks like, yeah, you got uh, a couple of them. So yeah. uh, what's up with that? Okay, Fujika. We know all about Fujifilm. So that was the Fuji Photo Film Company. They make papers, uh, film, paper, and chemicals. Then in 1960, they also ventured into camera production. They make cameras. They make some uh, fixed lens rangefinder cameras and uh, started to make the SLR. Then by the 70s and 80s, they came up with the Fujika ST series. They had, uh, at first, they have the ST701 stop down metering screw mount. They adopted the Pentax screw mount. Then they came up with this SD801. So when I first started, that was the first camera I bought with my own pay money. So I bought the SD801. So unlike the normal Spotmatic, where you have to meter stop down, this one, you meter wide open. So the lens, are uh, coupled with a ring like the Minota. So on the body, there is this ring. This will move with the aperture, will tell the camera what aperture is set. Then this screw mount, it has a lens lock. So you turn, you click, and you can't take out the lens. Okay, then you have this and they follow the Nikon system, they color code the aperture. So the depth of view scale is color coded. So, now what they did different from the Pentax, they did a few two things quite, uh, quite unique. Not, not very complicating, but very simple, but it works. They line up the wall of the mirror box with some kind of a felt, black felt material. And that is supposed to reduce the internal reflection. So no, no glare inside. So they put that. Cloth shutter, focal plane shutter. But not like most cloth shutter, they only go up to 1,000. This one goes to 2,000. That time, not many cameras they have a 2,000 speed. The Leica Flex have a 2,000 speed, the SL. Then the Nikon F2 has a 2,000 shutter speed. The Canon F1. So this one have a 2,000 shutter speed. And for the meter display, instead of a needle, they use an array of LED that can tell you the correct exposure, under exposure, up to plus minus, up to three stops. And then, for if you use the slow speed, normally cameras like this, the slow speed are the first to go wrong, if especially when you don't use it for a long time. But this one, the slow speed, usually from one uh, below 115, 18 to 1 second, they use a series of small gear, we call it the escapement, something like the watch, to slow down, delay the closing of the second curtain. Now this mechanism, over time, will have grease and dust, and it will retard the movement. And to fix that, you most cases, you have to take the camera all the way out. It take time, but this Fujika did a smart move. So, let me show you. Just remove two screws from the bottom plate. Yeah. This the rewind button sits over there. Okay, once open, you can see the slow speed mechanism here. 
so easy to access, so easy to fix. So they put it very easy, make it accessible. Whereas other camera, they hide this inside and you've got to uh, re disassemble a lot of stuff before you can get access to it. So put it back. And their lenses were the Fujinon. They call it the EBC, electron beam coating. They are, they are type of uh, multi-coating. So that multi-coating would uh, improve the light transmission, uh, reduce the flare. Okay, so Fujika 801. From 801, they have a 901. The 901 is equivalent of the electro spotmatic. So you can set to auto and manual. And they also have a hybrid arrangement. 60 to 1000 is uh, mechanical. Below 60 is electronic. So they have the 901. And the meter display is an array of uh, LED with, uh, with the numerals. You can see digital display. Then they came up with another version of that, AZ1. Also auto, uh, again, a hybrid shutter, 60 to 1000. And when you put in the AE, is the slow speed, all the slow speed you will handle. This time, they put a provision for the winder, so you can put a winder. That was still screw mount, rear net, with a full aperture coupling with a lens lock. Then the next series came was the STX, the AX series. They changed the thread mount into Bayonet, so it's faster to change. But like Pentax, they also have an adapter to use back the old screw lenses. So that was uh, Fujika for 35 millimeter SLR. But not only SLR, they also made medium format camera. They have the changeable lens medium format 6x9 cm camera. We call it the Texas Leica because it's huge. It's range finder but big size. Then they also came up with a very special medium format single lens reflex camera. It's the GX680. It's the monster of a camera, so big that you only use it in the studio uh, with a tripod. But they outdo the Mamiya. They put, a, like a Mamiya, you got a bellow. But you also got tilt and shift. Tilt and shift control. The lens shutter is electronic shutter. Then the film at once is motorized, so you don't have to wind by hand. So you got a motorized film winding, and like Mamiya, you can vertical and horizontal. You got a revolving back, so they have that, that, that as well. I remember the uh, Fuji six seventeen, Pano. Ah, beautiful camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never got to use it though. Yeah. So of course later on when they moved to digital, the the first one they adopted the Canon uh, Nikon model and they put their own sensor. Then after that, they stopped. And later, of course, much later, they started the mirrorless series, which was the crop sensor uh, okay. camera. And that's for a different yeah. storyteller. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that's Fujika. Okay, Mr. Wu, thank you very much right. for the history of uh, Fujika because, Welcome. you know, even I didn't know much about it except for the big uh, medium format versions. Okay, uh, so we'll stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.